Hello everybody. I'm not having too good of a day today because uh, because of this. Look at that. Uh, nope. All right. Just realized my tire, even though it wasn't flat, but I was like, man, you know, it looks kind of low. Well. You know, it's supposed to be supposed to be 35 and then when I measured it it was like 15 and I'm like man this doesn't look good so I started pumping it up and then I'm like well what could possibly go you know be wrong you know the rubber is is actually relatively good still but then I saw this and it's right in the you know in the eye of sight in the line of sight because if it was anywhere else obviously I wouldn't see it so we got this little bugger I'm gonna, now I'm gonna have to take care of it and obviously it's it's already pretty late so all the shops are closed but uh, surprisingly I mean it's still holding it's still holding some air and I don't even know how long it's been there because you know if it happened today yeah it's possible uh, but at the same time you know, if it was in there for a while, I, I probably wouldn't even wouldn't even notice it. So there's that. No, well, and the funny thing is, <laughs> is that why it even prompted me to look at my tires is because here's my wife's Forester. She complained that she's got a tire pressure light on. So I checked all four tires, which I, I wasn't gonna, um, you know, I wasn't gonna bore you with. But all her tires are fine. So we have the Forester with uh, all four tires are fine properly inflated but that has a, a tire pressure light so I don't know probably one of the sensors died or whatever and then we have the town car that doesn't have the <laughs> the light on because it simply doesn't have it and then I started checking around okay it's it's a little low I mean it actually been it, it's been cooling off lately and look at that sunset wow that is really beautiful. Look at that thing. Like fire. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm already out here. Might as well check. Check my car. And, and lo and behold, there's the problem. So, no, well, no. It's not the worst thing to happen. Yeah, like surprisingly, like I'm afraid that this thing is just gonna like shoot out of there. <laughs> but in any case, what are you gonna do, right? All right. So I'm gonna wait for this thing to turn off. Obviously it's losing air. I mean, it doesn't matter when it happened. So, and... Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna have to get that taken care of through a local shop here, like uh, Midas or whatever. Come on. All right, there we go. So, yeah. You know, these little compressors, I mean, they're they're pretty cheap, but they they are really nifty. Oh yeah. See, I'm using my uh my power port right there my powerpoint yep all right let's just double check just for the shits and giggles let's see okay yeah, it's getting dark and you know these phones are not the best but anyway you're gonna have to trust me when i say this it's 35 now so hopefully by the time i come out tomorrow it's still gonna hold some air and And this thing at least stays put, you know, like, oh God, it's all the way, yeah. It's rusty, it's... All right, let's see what happens. All right, let's see on this side, driver's side. No, I didn't, I don't see anything, but it is a bit down, but, but that's okay. I mean, I understand it's just from the fact that, you know, it's, it's cooling off here. So, yep. So still 10 psi. I mean, that's quite a bit. So I'm, now I'm 
now I'm being sp I'm, I'm suspicious that maybe there's some stuck in this one too I don't know all right let's see sort of little bubbling here happening from my quarter panel repair actually in this light it doesn't even look like it's two different colors you know looks nice and uniform so yep all righty well I guess my my first immediate reaction these days anytime something happens with my town car I just start filming <laughs> So, oh, well, I always found it hilarious. These ginormous symbols. Why is that car symbol the one with the open door? First of all, I only have one door open, you know. But here it just shows a giant car with two doors open. It doesn't even have any back doors. And then the trunk open, you got that teeny bitty car that's so generic. Like, you know, a three-year-old could draw it. But then that, that's not to scale as this. <laughs> and you cannot clear it. I mean, I always found this thing hilarious. You know, that a car that was made in 2006 and, and you know, was technically manufactured up to 2011 still had that cartoonishly large display. With this, too, what's up with that red light? Like, what does that red light even, even mean? Like, like, there's a warning? I know there's a warning. There's a giant cartoonish car staring at me. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess uh, it is what it is, right? Can't live with it, can't live without it. Let's see. Oh, some... the, the fuel filler right there. That's a bit rusty going in there. So, all right. Well, guys, I just thought I would share this with you that, you know, I mean, it's good that I caught it in the evening. So tomorrow morning, hopefully I'll... I'll get out a little too early just just to confirm that my tire's not flat. Let's see, maybe it's flat now. Who knows, right? Let's see. I mean it's I guess I mean it's obviously a slow week, but nothing that I can detect. So it gives me hope that you know today is a Wednesday evening that maybe by uh, Saturday, you know, I could still would still be able to drive it to the shop and hopefully patch. Uh, I mean, I would hate to lose this tire because, look, I mean, it's got decent threads. I mean, all four of them, surprisingly. You know, I, I got the tires almost new when I bought the car about a year and eight months ago. So I would hate to need a new tire. But, and when these are Michelins too, so. Well, hopefully that they'll be able to patch this because it's right up here, you know, it's not in the sidewall or anywhere else. Hopefully it's the only thing, but. Alrighty, we'll see you next time.